What's up guys, it's Jim with Awaken TCG. I'm bringing you guys a bit of a controversial video today. Today we're going to be talking about the elephant in the room in the One Piece card game scene, the competitive scene to be exact, that I, I don't think I can really not talk about anymore. I mean, all the YouTubers have been talking about this card. It It's clearly the best leader in the game. And it's kind of dominating tournaments, and I think it's ruining the meta at this point in time. Um, and that, of course, is going to be Hody Jones. If you don't know about Hody Jones, um, he has been dominating the competitive scene for about a couple weeks now, once people caught on how to play the deck. Um, obviously, originally people thought Sakazuki was the best leader. But uh, as of this uh, most recent tournament, the 401 Games Toronto Regionals, as you can see here, um, out of the whole entire top 16, literally every player was playing Hody Jones. Um, if you're trying to win competitive tournaments now, you quite literally cannot play another leader. Um, no Sokka, no Black. It, it's green only. It's Hody Jones or Bust, right? Like, Which I think is the most polarizing meta we've ever had, um, if I'm not mistaken. I think Whitebeard was pretty bad, but I don't think it's ever been this egregious. Um, it's really causing like a ton of people to quit the game. I know I've heard a couple of my buddies said, you know, these fishmen, I don't want to deal with them, so I'm going to go ahead and go over and play Dragon Ball, which, you know, good on them. I get it. You know, 16 Hodies is, a, is kind of a problem, and I really think something needs to be done. Uh, I get they banned Sakazuki uh, for next set, but I think uh, the conversation needs to kind of shift its attention towards, Ho towards Hody Jones. Um, also, if you're even trying to drip out your deck and compete with this leader, like, I'm going to show you the price on TCG Player, and do not be alarmed. Um, that is right there, $300 million for this leader. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I think that is the most expensive a leader card has ever been in this game. Um, I don't know many people that can, that can buy this. I mean, you know, I know a couple people it's in their price range, but like, you know. Out of the majority of my friend group, I'm going to say about two out of five of them can probably not afford this card. And which means you just can't, you can only play normal Hody. And that's just kind of disrespectful to the leader, if I'm being honest with you guys. So today, we're going to be having a little fun. And we're going to be taking this leader into the sim and show you guys the true power of this leader and why it is currently dominating the meta. Um, I really wish my opponent luck, because if they don't play in Hody, I mean, jeez, good luck, bud. And getting into our game here, oh my god, I mean, I would too. Who the hell would want to play against this leader? I honestly, I feel kind of bad, and this has happened to me, this is the third game in a row that my opponent has DC'd, because they just really did not want to face the power of Hody Jones. Which, completely understandable, but I do want to get a game in for you guys, so let's go ahead and try to get one. It's going to be tough, but we're going to try our best. And it looks like we're going to be playing against this sad sap playing Moria. I I really would like to apologize in advance, but um, unfortunately I think he already knows what's coming, so we're going to go ahead and keep this hand. Moria in, chose to go first, which is the right play against Hody, but... At the end of the day, it's just kind of futile. Going to use the Sindri here and not even seeing a 4-cost Thriller Bark. And we're going to get the double Kami. If you guys didn't know, Hody Jones actually has a hidden passive where you always get double searcher on the first turn. Uh, and that just showing in full effect right now. So we're actually going to just grab this Hyozo. And I think... If we're playing this correctly, we're actually... No, we'll play out the other searcher because I was thinking um, as a real Hody main, if you wanted, if I wanted to, I could go Mihawk into Hyozo next turn, which would be a little more... Uh, I think I'm going to do that, actually. So we're going to go ahead and pass. Um, even when you get the double searcher on first turn, you know, Hody is just so... Um, there's so many options with this leader that sometimes you just don't want to do that. So we're going to go ahead and probably take this. Um, we do have a 2k in hand that's not Mihawk, but it's completely fine. He's going to do the hog back, probably grabbing back the Moria, if I had to guess. 
And yeah, going to slowly send both sentries back to the trash, which I don't think is right, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and take this one. Now we're gonna go ahead and go 6K at leader with two sentries I think I just saw going to the trash. Odds are he probably doesn't have a counter and we're gonna go ahead and play Mihawk into Hyozo here. Making that board as big as we possibly can. Whereas if we played the Kami last turn, we'd have too many characters on board for this Mihawk to actually play out the Hyozo. Then I'm assuming next turn we're probably going to be playing this uh, Trafalgar Law, taking back either a Kami, probably the Mihawk, just so we have another 2k in hand. And then playing out either Vanderdecken or Dosun, based on um, what the board state's looking like. Um, opponent, it looks like he's going to just uh, probably attack twice into Hyozo if I had to guess. We'll give him a 1k to start it off. Um, and if he wants to play anything of note, he's actually going to have to only swing 5 at lead. Looks like he's going to Great Eruption. And probably play an Absalom. Does not have it in trash at the moment, so I'm assuming he has one in hand. And there it is, yep, Absalom is out, and he's going to go ahead and swing 6k at leader, which is fine, that does not affect the Hody train, we'll go ahead and take that one. And then at this point we draw a boat, which is pretty good, because we can actually just go Vander Deccan, or maybe we want to go Dosun off of uh, Law here, I think we're going to do that. A little bit more um, powerful play, in my opinion. In Hody's opinion, excuse me. I'm gonna go five and five at the Hogback. And let's say he's gonna counter out of that one as well. Interesting. So we'll take the Law back to hand. Sorry, we'll take the Mihawk back to hand and then we'll play out the Dosun and pass to him. Pretty powerful board on his side, but ours is definitely nothing to scoff at as well. Next turn, we're definitely dropping Hody Jones himself. Um, the best card in the deck, as it should be, uh, along with the best leader in the game. It only makes sense, guys. And at seven on now, he actually cannot play that Acos Moria that we know he put back in his hand. So best play here is probably going to be something like a four cost into a leader effect or something along those lines. And then probably just swing five a couple of times with this board. We do not have the best hand in the world. Um, already semi low, unfortunately. So if we played a Perona here too, that would be pretty annoying, but we do have the perfect discard target with Noah's Ark. A uh, pretty great card, honestly. Uh, if you ever see it off of life, which I think happens about one in every one games, um, every game you should get it off of life, if if you're playing the deck right. Looks like he's gonna, yeah, he'll go six. And maybe doing that Perona that I was assuming earlier. We'll probably just 2k out if he ends up doing that. Trash Boat and 2k out. Opponent taking a while to make his plays. That's really the only thing you can do against this deck, if I'm being honest. Um, just kind of slow the inevitable loss that's coming your way. And yeah, it looks like he's going to finally make a move. And there is the Perona as we thought. Uh, most of these Moria players are just cookie cutter, cut and dry. Same plays every game type of players, so that is fine with us. And he's actually going to do a minus three to Law. Um... I'm gonna bet that's a Rob Lucci coming my way. So, um, I'm actually gonna block. And if he wants to Rob Lucci, he can go ahead and do that. And just KO the Kami. And it looks like he's actually going to switch up his decision here. We'll give him the Mihawk, as we were already planning to. And then with three Dawn, I really don't know what your best course of action is here. He's just going to go five. We'll go ahead and give him the Kami. And wow, he's going to go five again. Very interesting. We'll take that one. Trying to the Doflamingo is actually really strong here. So we're going to go swing at this Sindri, get our free attack in. 
And as for the Dosun, we're probably going to just attack the Hogback after we... Yeah, I think we just activate Leader Effect here. We'll choose no targets. And then we'll go 7 at Hogback. And he will probably be forced to take that. And then we will follow it up with a Hody Jones resting Perona here. And no other target. And then we will go at the Perona, just because I don't want him to have another Absalom. He actually already has one in trash, so. It's probably correct to swing at the Absalom there, but it doesn't make, doesn't make a ton of difference since, you know, you're pretty much just delaying the inevitable with this deck. And now on 9 Dawn, I'm guessing our best play right now is going to be a Ice Age into Moria. If he has Helmepo already in trash, which he does, he can actually remove my board with Helmepo Luchi. Just needs the Ice Age. And then he has a probably like 20% something chance at winning, but realistically, this game's pretty much over. Yeah, there's the Moria without the Ice Age, so not going to be able to remove Godi himself, which obviously is going to be perfect for us. And yeah, there it is. He's going to forfeit. I mean, what else are you going to do against this leader, guys? For real. My god, I can't even get a full game in when I play this leader. It, he's ruining the game. Can we just ban Hody Jones?